Hi, my name is Dr. Jean-Baptiste. I'm one of the interventional radiologists here at Mayo Clinic Health Systems in Eau Claire. You may ask yourself, what is an interventional radiologist? We are physicians who have specialized training in doing minimally invasive procedures, in addition to interpreting images like x-rays, CT, MRI, and ultrasound. I'm going to talk to you about the DVT thrombolysis procedure. If you have leg swelling, leg pain, been in a long car or plane ride, or work in a sitting position most of the day, you might have what we call a DVT. A DVT is a medical term that means there's a blood clot in your legs, and if left untreated, the clot could grow and break off and go to places like your lungs and cause a pulmonary embolus, or to your brain, causing a stroke. We can find out if you have a DVT by doing what's called an ultrasound. In this image, you can see that the vein is non-compressible. What that means is that there's blood clot in the vein preventing blood flow from coming up from the leg and going back to your heart. While putting you on blood thinners may prevent the clot from going anywhere else, it does not prevent it from damaging the vein it's already in. If these veins are permanently damaged, it can lead to something called post-thrombotic syndrome. As you can see here with varicose veins, ulcers, and leg swelling and pain that can become very extreme. DVT thrombolysis is a procedure performed by an interventional radiologist who can directly inject clot-busting medication into the vein that has the blood clot, break it up, and pull it out before the clot has a chance to do permanent damage to the vein. It typically requires a one to two day stay in the hospital with a catheter in the leg that has the blood clot. At the end of the hospital stay, you will be placed on blood thinners and go home with support hose stockings. We will continue to follow you for a few months to make sure that you are healing and not getting worse. This procedure dramatically reduces the likelihood that you will develop post-thrombotic syndrome. This image demonstrates a patient who has a blood clot in their leg. Normally when we inject contrast through the leg veins, you see a complete dark black line. The areas where there isn't a dark black line indicate that there is blood clot there. This same patient, after a few hours of DVT thrombolysis, now has what we typically expect to see in a normal patient, a complete dark black line going up the leg with no blood clot left. Patients who typically benefit from this procedure are patients who have blood clots in one or both legs, are relatively active, have had symptoms like leg swelling and pain for less than two weeks, and who have no reasons why they should not have blood thinners. What to expect during the procedure, you'll have a short stay in the ICU, You'll probably have to stay laying flat and minimize movement of the affected leg, and you might expect one or more catheters in your leg veins. What to expect after? Less pain and swelling. Typically, you'll be placed on blood thinners for three to six months. You'll probably have to wear compression stockings or what most people call support hose, and then we'll see you frequently back in the interventional radiology clinic to make sure your symptoms aren't changing. If you have any questions or would like a more detailed discussion, please go to the following link and look at our full PowerPoint presentation. Thank you.